Right. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to destroy and delete game objects instead of disabling them. You might have a purpose for this. Some people have purposes for just disabling, but whatever. Let's I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to show you by destroying the white cube because I have it set up right now that the white cube moves around and it collides with the red cube and that is a previous video and I don't want you to I don't want to have to retype all the code and stuff to show you so you can go watch the other video and I'll show you how to do that but for this video I'm just going to do one line of code on just the white script, the white cube instead. So all you got to do is create a script, C sharp, uh, destroy me, or name it whatever you want to. And then the start function is just one line of code. We're going to say destroy, open parentheses. Since we're destroying this game object and only this game object, you would type this, destroy this game object, close it off parentheses with a semicolon, and it will, the white cube will pretty much destroy itself once the game starts. Alright, drag the script onto the white cube, which is our player. And when I push start, it will destroy itself, the white cube. There you go, that's how you delete or destroy game objects instead of disabling them. There's a separate way how to disable things. And just for purposes, I will go to the monster script and I will take that out. And this time, if we walk and touch the monster, we will get killed instead of the monster. So destroy this dot game object. I forgot to take it out. Uh, the script that destroys itself. Okay. So now our player is walking. Say he walks over a mine or a bomb or an enemy. Oh, killed himself. And you'll notice that he's no longer inside the hierarchy. If you did set active instead, when it just disables them, it, the player would still be inside the hierarchy. So that's really the difference. Most people disable instead of destroy just uh, have better optimization. But if it's a small game, you don't really have to worry about it. So uh, thank you for watching. And please subscribe. I almost forgot you can do it the other way as well, actually. So you wanted to destroy the monster instead. You would do uh, two ways. You can do destroy other dot game object because if you're colliding with the other game object and if the other game object dot tag is enemy, then destroy the other game object. Boom. And the other way would be to do um, instead of doing other dot game object, you could do the name 
of this object. Boom. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll do more content.